Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It is Halizzle. Today I am going to be doing a Cubit's Castle house tour and I'm really excited. To be honest with you guys, I was actually not really sure what I want to do with this build because I did do a Valentine's Day tiny home build for you guys that had to do with reds and pinks and stuff. Also guys, I have some really exciting merch coming your way. The reason why I did not upload yesterday is because I've been working on that merch and I'll give you guys a little hint. It is for my birthday collection merch my birthday is next month i honestly cannot believe that my birthday is next month it's just so unbelievable <laughs> and i'm really excited because i've been working really hard on this merch and i'm really excited because my collection doesn't just include girls clothes but also has boys clothes and also unisex outfits for everybody because it's really important to me that i include everybody and i serve the community as a whole so i really wanted to make sure that everybody can have an outfit from this collection if you guys would like to see my my Cubit's Castle house tour, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so this is actually the second time I am filming this video because the first time my audio was not picking up. So hopefully it is this time, but guys, look how cute these doors are. They're so cute. So let's go ahead and go inside of the castle. So this is what the front room looks like. This is the foyer or foyer, however you say it. And I ended up going for another pink and red theme along with like some greens and stuff because I was really inspired by like just the flowers and then the nature and everything thing and I really wanted to incorporate like green and stuff within this build so this is the foyer as you guys can see so if we go over here um, I actually was not really sure what to do with these like circle cutouts because they are kind of like awkward spaces within the house so I ended up doing something like this this side is just like a garden with like flowers flowers <laughs> this is actually a garden with butterflies this was also inspired by cuppy I really wanted to change it up and I added these trees with like the pink on top so it kind of looks like uh, pink trees, I guess you can say, the pink trees outside. <laughs> and I don't know, I think magnolia trees are really cute, but I don't know actually how to build them within this house. So I kind of just went with like squares and stuff. Um, this side is just a pet station. As you can see, we have pet beds as well as like bathtubs and like toys and food bowls for them to get their needs up when they are hungry or anything like that. So if we go all the way back here, I guess you can say like a rose pond flower pond just like a really cute area I don't know <laughs> I really wanted to include like a pond when I saw this bathtub in the live stream I was really excited to um, build a pond with this so this is kind of what I came up with I used two of them so that there's like petals on each side and then of course we did the flower wall that I did in my bedroom build video it's so cute and then of course we have like bushes around it and stuff and then I did this little design with the heart rugs below to kind of look like leaves I don't know they kind of look like leaves to me so that's what we have going on right here as well as like butterflies and stuff and then of course I did the same effect that I did with the other pond is adding the fog machines from the Halloween update so that this can have some sort of like effect as you can see it looks like it's just steaming and stuff and it's so pretty I love it it's like a little sauna I guess you can say like a little spa area so that is the foyer or foyer for you we have a table in the middle and honestly you can probably fit a piano here as well to fill up some of the space but I really wanted to add this table because it's so cute we also have some planters filling up the extra space in these corners over here so if you guys have a lot of space in your home and you don't know what to do with it adding planters like this will help fill up that space so if we go into this room right here this is my pink I guess you can say living room and it's so cute it's very basic but um i tried to make it cute we have some candles and like this vanity heart smear right here very cute cozy like so if we go ahead and go upstairs i just realized that these two staircases don't lead to really anything besides this hallway over here i did not add anything in the hallways just because i wasn't really sure what to do with them <laughs> but if we go into this room right here this is my red 
living room, I guess you can say as well. Um, this is like a, just like a general sitting area. We have a bookcase, a TV, and just like a fireplace as well. I love adding fireplaces in my rooms if you couldn't already tell. And every room in this house has a different Valentine's wallpaper. And I kind of wanted to kind of just build that room around the wallpaper. So if we go into this room right here, this is the kitchen. It is so pretty. So this is the dining table over here. And I did like the wall panelings and like banners add some more personality to the area as well as like the hanging lights because it definitely does look more romantic when you add like hanging lights and stuff so this is the kitchen area i did minimal cabinets this time just so we can have a space for the dining table because i don't know if there's any room out here to put a dining table so we just have that right there we have our candy some plates and all of our appliances and some pet bowls right there as well and then this little I guess you could say build hack as well where I like I put like books up there and like a shelf and we also have a vase I really like this vase it's super pretty so if we go into this room right here this is actually a bathroom and this bathroom was actually inspired by this wallpaper right here this is one of the newer wallpapers it's so pretty and it's blue and it's like heart clouds and I really wanted to like add a bathroom with this print it's so 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 pretty so this is a blue bathroom and I know that my friend's really going to love this bathroom because his favorite color is blue so this is one of the bathrooms this is the kitchen and now if we go to this room over here it's a piano room with a bookcase we also have a fireplace as well and pianos are also really great items to kind of just fill up some space if you have like extra space and at first I was actually gonna leave these rooms empty but I thought about it. I was like well where, where are we gonna put the living room and like the dining room and like extra rooms and stuff so I kind of I just made use of like these extra rooms and kind of just made it how it is right now so if we go to the first floor right here this is the first guest bedroom right here this is the pink guest bedroom we have a vanity another fireplace a tv some bookshelves and like some beds along with some pet beds so we have two beds in this room it's super cute it's pink and i love it so much so if we go to the next room this is actually the bathroom and this is not one of the newer wallpapers this is actually an older wallpaper and i really I really wanted to kind of just create a bathroom with these colors as you can see I kind of did that already maybe I should have used a different shade of pink for the rug but I still really like the way this looks not my best build out of all my houses but it, it will do for this one um, we have a little platform along with plants and roses and everything in the bathtub is right here next to the window this is the second guest bedroom this is the blue guest bedroom and this room is actually huge but I ended up cutting it off over here and making a little bookcase sitting area i didn't really know what to do with the extra space over there so i just ended up making that into another room so this is the blue guest bedroom again we have two beds and two pet beds we have a sofa right here and then also a fireplace with the tv so if we go into the last room right here this is actually an office and this is part of the blue room as you can see it has like the same heart wallpaper but i wanted to separate it out and kind of create another room so this is kind of just what I did right here and this is kind of just like a little mini office just in case anybody wanted to do some YouTube work or their homework or if they just wanted to play games or Roblox we also have pet beds in here as well okay guys so now that it is nighttime I want to show you guys what this house looks like in night um, it's nothing super special but I just really love the lighting in this house like it's so pink and the reason is because I actually changed the color of the light bulbs of these to pink because if I leave it to white and I had like lots of these lights the house is gonna be so like washed out and bright and you can't really see anything and so I just changed the color of those lights to kind of just minimize that effect I guess you can say Bloxburg actually had that same issue a long time ago where you kind of just had to change the color of the lights to like a darker color so that it's not super bright the reason why I want to show you guys what these rooms look like in the dark I don't know what it is about the dark when it's nighttime but the room just glow like red and pink and I think it's only because of the lighting I don't think this house actually does that without the lighting as you can see this room is it doesn't glow pink but it has like blue 
blue lights in it as well but this room is so pretty with like the lighting and stuff like this i just love how like pink and red and bright it is it's literally so pretty okay guys so time for the last room um when i was recording this the first time i actually forgot to show you guys this room because i already did a bedroom build video so if you guys would like to go check out that bedroom build video i will leave it in the eye in the corner so that you guys can go check that out but oh my goodness guys this is the bedroom up here this is my bedroom i guess you can say and i really wanted to do something different from the pink and red theme and i kind of wanted to do like a more outdoorsy garden i guess you can say like tangled princessy vibe type of room so i was able to do that with like this bed fixture right here and like this little rose garden pond area this is like a little mini version of the one that we have downstairs it is so cute again i did use the fog machines from the halloween update and then over here we just have like a little sitting area i just really love the way it turned out so that is pretty much it everything in my cupid's castle um there's so many great builds guys like literally everybody has done such a great job on like decorating this home i've seen pictures on discord i've also seen like other tour videos on youtube after seeing a bunch of pictures and like build videos i had no clue what i wanted to do with this house because everybody had like different themes going on some people even built trees in like these rooms right here other people went with like the whole like castle like theme like a throne and like outdoorsy and stuff anyways guys that is going to be the end of this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to turn that subscribe button from red to silver because i love to have you part of our family we have so many exciting things coming to this channel and i'd love for you guys to be a part of that so make sure that you guys are subscribed because i also do live streams on big update days and i love when you guys join me in those live streams so make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a donut and i will see you guys next time bye